changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and Ladies and gentlemen, we've been talking to Miss Imabo Obo, an entrepreneur, a young girl, for excellent, very charismatic, I'm sure you can actually see that. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Butterfly Show. You know, the ladies, the teenage girls, the ladies. You find out that in this social media era, where everything is about make belief, mm. where everything is about validation, seeking for validations, our priorities have shifted. Mm -hmm. What that means is, some money, many years ago, the money is maybe a typical young girl would use to start a business mm -hmm. because of peer pressure, mm -hmm. because I want to feel like I belong, mm -hmm. because I want to put up a picture on Facebook, then I'm right. you know, because I want to put up a picture on Instagram, mm -hmm. the, our priorities have changed. Yes, right. So the money we would have, the money we would have used as seed mm -hmm. to sow for our future, mm -hmm. we are eating it. That's right. When you eat your seed, you're heading to famine. Mm -hmm. Yes, That's true. But, but when you sow it, mm -hmm. you are sure of right. others. Yes. Okay, so so please, really, um, at, at the end of the day, you have a couple of less because you just did a beautiful picture. But then what? After that, what? Nothing. You're still faced with your housework challenges. Mm -hmm. You're still faced with your school fees challenges. Mm -hmm. You're still faced with money that you needed to start a business. Mm -hmm. The other day, a lady sent me an inbox. She said, I need 20000 to start um, baking buns and all of, of that. Okay, mm -hmm. and I went and checked her, her profile. Mm -hmm. I don't give out such money every okay. now and then. Mm -hmm. But the first thing I need to go to your profile. I'm fine. I, I went to her profile, mm -hmm. and there's somebody who is looking for twenty thousand. I saw the kind of hair she makes, and the kind of clothes she wears. Mm -hmm. And I just said to myself, this one is not looking for, for money. money to start business. Yes. Because if you're looking for twenty thousand, you have it already. You you already have it, but your priorities are but misplaced. That's right. So so you waste the money, and then me that says it, the money. now come and give you. Me that is working for the money, uh, I have to now come and cover up the money uh, and, and give it to you. You you you, you waste it on yourself. <laughs> then then you, you look for someone that is savings savings account that okay. will give it to you to you at the end of the day. Uh, well, ladies, gentlemen, if you're listening to Ima Bobo in the studio, I'm sure you just said what she said. Sometimes the money you use for your hair could actually be used for a business. Sometimes the money you use for shoes and buying jewelry and accessories for yourself. Ladies, handbags. You can only use one handbag per time. You can only wear one jewelry at a time. You, you have only one head. And so you can only use one kind of hair at a particular time. Imabo, let me ask you this question. Rape. We are on the issue of rape as an entrepreneur. Do you think a woman as yourself, beautiful as you are, and I want to say that you are exquisitely dressed, that the way that you were dressed could trigger a man to want to rape a woman like you? Okay. Uh, well, uh, on the subject of rape, mm -hmm. a woman is not responsible for being raped. Thank you. Thank Wait, you if, uh, if because it doesn't matter how she dressed. I don't dress well what you call, you know, people say in the same distance. What I tell people is what you call decent. That's right. To another person is it's, indecent. That's right. And what you call indecent to another person it's is comfortable, is okay. decent. That's right. So you don't hold the standard. Mm -hmm. In this whole wide world, you're not the model. That's right. So, so 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 we do you leave and let other people, people leave. leave. That's right. Okay. So a woman is not responsible for being raped. Mm. A man is responsible for raping a, a woman. woman. There is nothing like she wore shorts mm. or uh, she wore fitted or she did this. No, you should be able to call yourself to order. Mm. Yes, because otherwise, why don't men go to the barbish and or to the swimming pool mm. and start raping women because they are wearing swim 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 suits? Yes. No, you should walk into the barbish and start raping them. No? That's right. Or walk into the swimming pool and start raping them, Everybody. and then just tell everybody it's because they weren't well dressed. Mm. So it's sickening. Mm. It's an animalistic tendency in men, in some men, not all the men. Mm. That leads to rape. It has nothing. Men rape women with hijab, mm. the Muslim covering. Yes. They yes. rape women with that. They rape older women of 60 something years, 70 something years. They rape kids of two years old, 
So are you telling me a, 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 a child of two years old is sexy, mm -hmm. has scores that attracted him? Mm -hmm. So it has nothing to do with the woman. Mm -hmm. It has everything to do with the animal. Yeah. Man in that situation. Especially in the yes. <laughs> you know, but I have to share your sentiment on that. That is actually not the way that a woman dresses that actually triggers the rape. It's what's in the man that makes the man to go for what he does to a woman at any given time. Imamo, as an entrepreneur, have you suffered anything with your strong personality and charisma? Have you suffered any form of tribalism or any form of discrimination from the male folk? Well, I have not. Okay. I have not suffered that. Why I think I have not suffered that is, um, like I told, uh, I told you, in this area where you you can only mention a few women that are taking leadership position. Mm -hmm. Um, I think um, the men, most of the men, mm -hmm. are usually amazed mm -hmm. to see that a woman is doing all of this, yes, that's and true. they are like, "Where is your energy coming, coming from? from?" Yeah. So, uh, from my experience, I don't know about any other person's experience. I think I've been having more encouragement okay. from the men okay yeah okay have you suffered any kind of sexual harassment from men well another thing i need you to know is that every strong productive woman and a result oriented woman is sexy mm -hmm. to 99.9 percent .9 of men yeah. like you know it she's just sexy you know you know men like um uh, they like um Price, mm -hmm. they like prizes. Yes, sir. So they, it makes them feel good mm -hmm. that they are either dating is such a strong, strong woman. They even brag about it. I had a boyfriend that when I was with him, with, okay. his, with his friends, uh -huh. I noticed that he just keeps saying, "This is Ima Bongo." <laughs> like he wants everybody to know that the Ima Bongo you've been hearing, <laughs> she's the one right here. So you see. It makes his his hair swell and all of, of that. Course. Yeah, so um, but sexual harassment, no. I have yes. not suffered sexual harassment. Mm -hmm. I just know that they try to ask you out. out. Yes. Uh -huh. they, you know, some of them just keep asking and keep asking. asking. But I try as much as possible to be diplomatic in my dismissal. And say you know. No. So because that's how they, they might misinterpret it. They'll now say either you're snuffing them yeah. or you're feeling too big. Mm -hmm. That's another problem. That's right. You know, that's but right. it's not that. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. It has nothing to do with anything. Okay. Well, you know what, ladies, we're talking. I'm having such a good time talking to Miss Ima Bongo, an entrepreneur herself. You know, one of the things that she has said that is actually quite very interesting and captivating is that men are actually attracted to strong, enterprising young women, and they want other people to identify with this kind of person. And she cannot be far away from the truth because actually, men, real men, do like women who have strong personalities. Now, remember, let me ask you this. As a girl child doing business in a male-dominated society, where everywhere you go, you hear, it's a man's world, a woman can do this, a woman shouldn't do this, a woman should do that. What has been the challenges that you have faced as a girl child? Well, uh, I decided that I set the standard. Okay. Nobody sets the standard for me. That's what right. that means is, um, if it's not fine with me, I tell you it's not fine. Right. And you know, there's this tool that men try to use on women. They try to emotionally blackmail yeah. on you. Try to, you know, whip that emotional sentiment. I tell a lot of men that come across me, I'm not, I, I well, I'm not entirely emotional. I'm mostly logical. Cool. Okay. What that means is, if you and I are even in a love relationship, mm -hmm. there are matters that will come, we, 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 we deal, we, we attend to it logically. Okay. Keep love aside. Mm -hmm. But you see, um, some of these men, they expect you to, no, 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 I, I can't be the love anymore, I can't be the an, an emotional anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically the challenges are usually being strong. You're strong. Because I'm okay. so strongly opinionated. Okay. You know, so um, uh, uh, they expect, if it's a woman that took that decision, they feel they can come around it by, you know, emotionally blackmailing you for you to change the decision. Mm -hmm. And when they come around someone like me with th those tools, mm -hmm. it doesn't work. Yes, so so I see the frustration and the disappointment in, in their faces. <laughs> and sometimes you get to hear remarks like women, mm -hmm. when a woman is in charge of something, it's very difficult. So it's, not, it's not that the woman is difficult. It's because if it was a man that said no, they would take the no at the first instance. That's right. But if a woman says no, Mm. They feel they can manipulate yes. the no to turn to yes. yes. So when you stay on your you, you, uh, 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 on your point, mm. when you refuse to be manipulated, 
and they say, Papa, I, I, I know what works for me. Be, okay. So when I tell you no, if it doesn't work, no. If it works, yes. yes. Okay. I, like, I like that. I like that. I yeah. like. I like the strong personality aspect of you being able to stand by what you say. Now, how can you encourage another woman who is watching you right now that wants to be strong in what you're doing as an entrepreneur? They don't want to give in to a whole lot of things because, again, you know, sometimes women walk into offices looking for some form of help, sponsorship, support from men, and the first thing you hear is sex. How can a woman who wants to come up in the industry that we are in right now, business, of course, how can they say no? To sexual advances to men and still get what they want. Another thing that you need to know as a woman, um, it's important that you develop yourself. Mm -hmm. Self development is key. Mm -hmm. Why I said that is when you walk into someone's office and you talk and you know your onions mm -hmm. and you have antecedents mm -hmm. to prove, mm -hmm. I, I think sex will be secondary mm -hmm. because trust me, everybody needs a solution. Mm -hmm. And when you offer that solution, it's regardless of your gender. Mm -hmm. They are going to accept it. Mm -hmm. But then again, what you need to know is that most of these women even carry the sex at the back of their mind Mines. before even approaching the men. Man. So to them, they want to thrive on the wings of sex mm -hmm. to, to achieving that their dreams. Mm -hmm. Now, that's, um, that's, um, that's, that's going to be devastating um, for you mm -hmm. in the nearest of uh, you know in the future mm -hmm. because how many men are you going to sleep with to get to watch if you're in a certain city you keep sleeping with every big man that you sleep the assistant mm -hmm. you're going to make a mockery of yourself. yourself very soon they're not going to take you serious Seriously. and a man that perceives you you are offering him sex mm -hmm. you know uh, um, logically mm -hmm. you'll not even take you serious Seriously. anymore but when you walk into an office and you're focused some of them the way they even dress or just mm -hmm. I they are coming the to seduce you. Yes, I want the sex. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, what can, let the sex not be your uh, motivation for getting there. Mm -hmm. Believe in yourself. Focus on how you can interpret what's inside of you, you and let people see. So, when people see that, when they see that capacity, mm -hmm. they're the ones that will even come to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, like so, 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 say no to sex in exchange for, for favors. For favors. <laughs> Now, when do you see yourself as an entrepreneur in the next five years? Okay, in the next five years, I'm thinking that um, the Ibom Food Bank initiative we are working on, okay. we're going to have a facility mm -hmm. so that we're all of this um, graduates, once they come out, mm -hmm. they have a facility they can, you know, There's move in and then do everything that they need to do, gotcha. depending on their areas of okay. specialization. And I'm also saying that I'm going to come up with a lot more ideas <laughs> that will engage a lot more five of youth positively. Okay. And I'm going to influence a lot more of them mm -hmm. to think financial independence. Okay. Yes. All right. So now if somebody wants to reach you, I want you to put it out there so that people can actually reach you. Those who may be interested in supporting what you're doing because it's actually a good initiative. How can they reach you on social media? Okay, on social media, um, my Facebook name is Ima Bongbo, you know, and then we have the YouTube channel that is um, Ima Bongbo Life, L-I-V-E. Okay. Okay, the Ima Bong, I-M-A-O-B-O-N-G, U-B-O-H, okay. super. Okay. So you can come there, you can drop a message, you can go DM, you can comment. Sometimes the best way to get my attention is if you comment on the post, because mm -hmm. I usually have a lot of messages, so oh, yes. sometimes <laughs> I don't even have see time all to them. read all of them. What would be your closing thoughts or the people who find you to be very interesting and want to be like you as an entrepreneur? What would be your closing thought to advise the girl child that it is okay to be strong, it's okay to be bold, it's okay to be who you are? Okay, in the end, all you have is yourself. That's your focus. Mm -hmm. That should be your inspiration. That should be your ambition. Moving yourself from where you are mm -hmm to where you want to be. Mm -hmm. So you have to be consistent with that. Mm -hmm. All of the things you've heard or seen or, or watched me achieve are not magic. Sometimes it appears like it's magic. very easy. No, hard work made it possible. Mm -hmm. So what is that dream that you have? Start with what you have, where you are, mm -hmm. and then the whole world will hear you. Continue. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Ibama. <laughs> I have really enjoyed talking to you here in the studio. Thank you so much for honoring our invitation to come here to the Princess Fata Baby Show. And we wish you all the best, Iran, as you move forward as an entrepreneur who want to see your name, the big billboards, and hear people talking about this iconic woman from Akwaba Sibom State. God bless you.
Thank you so much. There you are, guys. After all is said and done, being an entrepreneur is a choice. It's your business. You could decide to work for somebody else. You could decide to go into your own personal business and employ labor. But whatever you do, remember what we always say. Let your conscience guide you. And let what you love to do come out to the forefront where people can celebrate you. There are people who are looking for the talent that is inside of you. And remember that every human being that God created, he created them with gifts inside of them. And at the end of the day, you will give account to God of how you spend your time here on earth. And that is changing minds, changing attitude. Until I come again, you're way on another episode. I am Princess Pat. I have you and always do take care. Things are never what they seem to be Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and one Changing minds, changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and some love, hold each other's hands, in confidence we'll make the world a better place, we are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Patapanyo Show with 